Let me read this uh, CNN headline to you. Navajo Nation's objection to landing human remains on the moon prompts last-minute White House meeting. Now, to understand this, here's what you need to know. There are companies that will, for a fee, fly your cremated remains to space, in this case, bury them on the moon. Two private companies that provide these lunar burial services, Celestis and Elysium Space, plan to send dozens of sets of human remains on a lunar lander set to launch on Monday. But the president of the Navajo Nation says that turning the moon into a burial ground would be offensive to indigenous cultures. They've asked the White House and NASA to delay the launch. And, and consider this, that NASA apologized for doing something similar more than 20 years ago. In a statement, the CEO of Celestis says they reject the concerns the flight desecrates the moon. It is a touching and fitting celebration, he says, for our participants, the exact opposite of desecration. It is a celebration. Joining me now is the president of the Navajo Nation, Dr. Boo Nigren. Uh, Mr. President, thank you for being with me. Let me start here with just the explanation of why sending these human remains, these capsules with DNA, to the moon would be considered by the Navajo Nation and others uh, a desecration of the moon. Good morning. I, I appreciate the time that you all have given me. One of the first things, as I explained, we had a last minute meeting with uh, the White House, NASA, and uh, Department of Transportation officials yesterday. And one of the things I explained to them yesterday was that to over 20 years ago, you guys made a promise that after the fact that you sent the, the remains of an astronaut into space and onto the moon, that you promised to make sure that you consult us into the future. But at the, through the discussions yesterday, uh, through the through the loopholes of private companies that they can don't have to consult us, but they did promise that moving into the future that they would consult us. And one of the things I ask them is that you guys have a lot of influence as far as NASA. Most of these missions wouldn't happen without the funding, the millions of dollars that help you launch these projects. So you should have a say in trying to make sure that the, 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 the promises that were made over 20 yeah. years ago are upheld. That's the logistics of this. But first, what is the cultural significance? What is what is the the deeply and profoundly, as you've said it, uh, disappointing desecration uh, if these remains were to go to the moon? One of the first and foremost, I just in Navajo, a medicine man is called a hatathli, and they uh, they practice for many many years. Uh, I just want to be upfront. I'm not a medicine man. But one of the things that our elders and our, our Hatathis, our medicine people, have told me that the moon is sacred. It's in our songs, it's in our stories, it's in our creation. We've used the moon as a place that we've looked to for hundreds of years to make sure that we continue to exist. So they're part of ceremonies that have been around with the Navajo people for a long, long time. So when this happened in the, in the 90s, it was very clear that we should make sure that we consult our medicine people, consult the Navajo people before we do something like that. The Navajo Nation has never been opposed to exploration or curiosity or space missions. It's just the fact that the, 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 the uniqueness of life is so important that there's only one place, no matter how far into the universe we look, we have looked for decades now, now with the technologies that we have, we haven't found human beings. We haven't found another place like earth. So to us, it's we're very unique. We're created here on Earth, and we should continue to exist mm -hmm. here on Earth as as we move along out out of this life. So that's one of the things that have that the medicine men have told us. And then the fact that there's ceremonies that continue to exist here within the Navajo Nation and across all indigenous cultures that have looked to the skies for 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 thousands of years, yeah. and to 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 know to know that you have human remains circling the Earth. That's a little concerning uh, to, to think about because a lot of us pray to the moon, uh, pray to the moon, and the, that's the female counterpart of the sun in our culture. Mm. You say that you were part of this meeting uh, with NASA and the Department of uh, Transportation, Commerce Department, FAA, other officials, the private company as well. What came out of this meeting? Can you tell us more about it? Will the, the launch be delayed? <clears throat> I, I believe it was a meeting to kind of softly tell us that, you know what, uh, we're sorry, but the, the launch is still going to happen. 
But one of the things that I requested is that we should have, there's going to be a lot more, as you mentioned earlier, uh, throughout this year. And we, and we only ask that NASA fulfill its part of its promise. And one of the, I had a discussion after the meeting with the NASA administrator, uh, Mr. Nelson, and he did say, you know, I support you, Mr. President. And, but in return, I did ask him, we should sit down and talk about that. If NASA is going to be a part of any mission, they should fulfill, even if it's a private company, because most of these private companies would probably not launch into space without the dollars that come along with partnering with NASA. So one of the things I ask is if NASA is going to be a part of it, they should just have strict guidelines that said, you know what, we have a promise with indigenous people that exist uh, in the United States that we're not going to we're going to consult them and that we're going to make sure that human remains don't go into space. And, and, and I hope that those discussions actually come to fruition. Yeah, that commitment was made uh, back in the 90s uh, after uh, human remains were sent to uh, the moon. Uh, President of the Navajo Nation, Dr. Boone Igren, thank you so much for being with me. Thank right, you, sir. sir.